Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. And this is the second episode in my look at comparing Serif's old photo editing program, which was for the PC only, uh, which was Photo Plus, against their new program, Affinity Photo, which works on the Mac and the PC and as I explained in the introduction in the first videos it is to sort of see and help um, people who may be thinking about swapping from Photo Plus into Affinity Photo to see whether it is worth it um, see what they were gained by the swap and see what they will sort of lose by the swap or whether you can keep both, um, which personally would be my choice. But um, and in this particular episode, I want to be looking at filters. Now, they pretty much do filters in the same way, in the sense that they are, on the whole, destructive um, effects rather than non-destructive layers and again like I explained in the, the first episode a destructive effect um, once you've made the changes they are sort of permanent you can't go back and make alterations if you think you should have done something a bit less or a bit more um, the only way to get around that would be to do a lot of undos if you've done lots of other adjustments later on or just to scrap it all and start again whereas a non-destructive layer um, you can then go back to it make alterations and you know you do not destruct the actual original underlying image whereas, so filters on the whole especially in photo plus are destructive. I uh, will be talking about how Af Affinity Photo does have s some non-destructive options a bit later. So just to move along, the filters can be found in the filters menu and you click on this and Affinity Photo has Blur, Sharpen, Distort, Noise, Detect, Colors, and then you have a few other options. And down the bottom you have Plugins, which are ones um, are non-serif programs that will work within Affinity Photo. And the, probably the most famous of these is the Nix Collection by Google. Um, and the you know even the menus like for uh, the options like blur there are many different types of blur options um, if we come to photo plus the filters are actually in the effects menu and here you've got the you know, similar options like distort, blur, sharpen, edge, noise you have a few other options like render, artistic stylistic and then you have others and then again you have plugins which again the next collection works in both programs um, some options like say for example high pass where they're in the others uh, option in this menu in Affinity Photo, there that high pass is in the sharpen menu. So, a lot of these options will be in both programs, but they're not necessarily in the same menus, and the menus may not be exactly named the same. But most of the ones that are in um, Photo Plus apart from those in artistic and stylistic which I'll get to in a minute um, most of these other options should be in Affinity Photo 
but they may be, have a slightly different name. Not all of them will be exactly uh, work in the same way, but I would imagine there is pretty much a similar option in Affinity Photo. Um, now, nine in Photo Plus, a lot of times when you select a filter, it can work in three different ways. It will either just make the effect happen and you have no control over it and one of those particular options is find uh, edges and find all just click on that and it will just do the filter and you have absolutely no control on that so I'll just press control and Z to go back another one is well it, the other way that the filter works it can just open up a little adjustment box and one that works like that is the high pass filter I'll click on that and so you have this little adjustment box and then you can move the slider and then when you click OK it will make that effect permanent so I'll just cancel that and the last way that the filters will work is by opening them up in what is known as a filter gallery. Um, and you can get the filter gallery from the menu here or from this button up here or from just selecting one of the options. And a lot of these options, or the most obvious ones are in the two menus that aren't available in Affinity Photo which is Artistic and Stylistic because these will give you filters that are a lot nearer to what you can get in Photoshop and Adobe Elements and are not at all available in Affinity Photo in the current version which is version 1.5 something or other um, and these will add sort of specialized filters like artistic make it look like a an old painting or um, an ink a pencil drawing or the stylistic ones but right, let me open one of these it'd be, it'd be a lot easier to show you I will click on oil and it opens up the filter gallery we'll just make this full size so in here we have what the image would look like and as you can see this green bar going along the bottom here is the program converting this into an oil what it considers to be an oil painting and then you have some options here to alter the scale and other uh, the effect of this particular filter so I could change it into you can change you can click on any of these now once the filter gallery is open you can click on any of them and change that into a pencil drawing um, so one, let's, let's try a watercolour some of these will render quicker than others now this uh, filter gallery and these sort of filters are something that I personally think Affinity Photo desperately needs because there's been many times in the past when before Affinity Photo came out well, I would try to adapt a Photoshop tutorial um, to work with Photo Plus. And because these filters were available, if the filter was used in the Photoshop tutorial, sometimes I could adapt the Photo Plus tutorial because it has a similar filter. But as Affinity Photo doesn't have anything like this, um, I would find it even harder to adapt a Photoshop tutorial. And the other, like I said before, the other option is stylistic, where you can um, make it a comic book, or you have half tone. Um, this one. Uh, paper cutouts whatever that what particular means um, we have one here that sort of curls over the edge of the paper and 
tile. So like I said, you have the options to make alterations from there. You can also access some of the options that the other options that were in the main menu, you know, like the distort, blur, and what have you. So I'll just close this down. I'll cancel this. I won't make the alterations. So if you can even get to some of these other filters from the filter gallery. Um, so that is a look at the filters in Photo Plus. Um, and like I said, the filters in Affinity Photo are pretty much the same. Um, it's just that the menus are slightly different and it's just a case of finding the one you are looking for so you, you can detect edges which is pretty similar to what we did in Photo Plus apart from this does this in an inverted option whereas in Photo Plus it was a white black background and this is a black background but you can just press Ctrl and I to get the same effect um, so let me press con Ctrl and Z a couple of times to get rid of that. Come back to the normal image, and just to sort of show that these sort of filters work in the same way, I'm going to use um, the distort um, option, and I'm going to come down to um, where's it now? I think it's sheer. No, not sure. Uh, which one was it now? Oh, spherical. You can sort of change the intensity, which is... You may not be able to see that just yet, but... If I move this out, right up to, as far... Both of them, as far as they would go, right up to the right, you have this middle of the image being pushed outwards. And if I go the other way, it has absolutely sort of no effect really. It's just a case of pushing the center of the image out. So I'll press cancel on that. And back in Photo Plus, distort, and it, this one's just, just called Sphere. And this you can just go left or right and it has a sort of similar effect and you can go the other way in photo plus and sort of push it away from you so similar effect you know using these filters I'll just, just cancel that and then I'll come back to affinity photo now like I said at the beginning any of the filters that you select from here are destructive in the sense that they once you've made them you cannot alter them but something that is in Affinity Photo but not in Photo Plus is live layers and if you come to the layer menu and you've got new live filter layers you have some of not all of the filters, you've got all the, all the blur filters and a few of the other filters and one of those such filters is the spherical filter Filter, and you click on that and it looks exactly the same sort of adjustment so if I push these both right to the right as far as they would go now if at this point if I clicked merge it would merge that into the layer and it would make it destructive but if you just close the box that layer uh, layer underneath the image layer has got the tool in it so if I had come away and let's say I added a layer above this and I made some alterations to that layer 
and then decided, oh no, I, I made a mistake with this spherical up filter. I can come back to this layer, double click it, and you have the controls back. So I could tone back this sphere. Again, not merge it, just click on it. Come back to my new adjustment layers that I may have made above and continue altering. And then again, if I do find that there's something else that I didn't like, and I want you can always come back to this tool again, just double click on it and make some other alterations. So with live filter layers, you can do some filters in Affinity Photo non-destructively. Um, but you are, you are sort of restricted to sort of blur, some sharpening filters, a few distort filters and noise filters. Um, which is like, it is the majority of them, but it is not all of them. So, for my money, it is, Affinity Photo is good and better than Photo Plus because of the live filters, allowing you to make adjustments. Let me just delete that. get rid of that effect. I'll delete that one as well. Um, taking this back to the, the start image. Yeah, so Affinity Photo I think is better because of the live filters. Photo Plus I think is better because you have those specialised filters which are the artistic and stylistic which you don't have in Affinity Photo. And the other advantage you have with Photo Plus is when you come to plugins. This is because with the Photo Plus you can install both the 32 bit version and the 64 bit version, whereas um, Affinity Photo there is only like the 64 bit version. Um, so if you do install, like I have, the both versions of Photo Plus, you can have access to some older Photoshop plugins that will work in the 8-bit version, 32-bit uh, version, but not the 64-bit version of Photo Plus. Um, so you do have access to more plugins with Photo Plus than you do with Affinity Photo at this present moment in time. I'm guessing more as more people use plugins in Affinity Photo, we will get to know more about um, some that are available to use in Affinity Photo and they may not be able to use in the older Photo Plus. Um, but that's more of a thing, ongoing process that we will find out as we go along. So. I'm hoping I haven't bored you too much here and that you um, have found out something and I'm hoping this will help you make a decision whether to stick with Photo Plus or move to Affinity Photo or like me, keep both and use whichever one has the options that you need for the particular bit of editing that you want to do. So thank you for watching and goodbye.